This facility itself was actually built as a Bethlehem steel facility back in the early 1900s. When Bethlehem first built it, it was a 10-inch rolling mill, then they added on and put in a 12-inch rolling mill, and eventually in 76, they commissioned a 13-inch rolling mill. You know, efficiency is everything when it comes to um, a steel mill. Efficiency, you know, producing quality materials, efficiency with your utilities, your water, your lighting, your hydraulics, making sure everything's working efficiently. That way we can stay more competitive against other steel mills that we have to compete with every day. We took a you know, walk around the facility, quickly noticed that lighting was an easy target to start with. So we sat down, we laid out the National Grid program for him with, with a lot of ex explanation. And then the choice was, who do I use for a contractor? Uh, before the lighting project, it was an uh, older plant. I believe that we did a uh, lighting upgrade around 2010 in some areas, but it just seemed like it was uh, very dull. Uh, so it was a darker, gloomy plant, without a doubt. So with the, the lighting project that uh, we just completed, the, the total cost of the job was around $1.2 million. We were able to get grants through National Grid to help us out with the initial capital cost. Uh, we used our own resources and we were able to come together as a team with National Grid to pull this project off. Based on the kilowatt hours saved, we offer a certain fraction of the amount times the kilowatt hour saved. In this project, it just ha happens to be 13.1 cents per kilowatt hour saved. So based on the kilowatt hours saved, we were able to uh, incentivize this project at over $653,000. The first day back, you should have seen the look on their faces. I mean, they're sitting up in the pulpit and I walk in and we turn on the lights and it's just bright. It's like, it's like someone's eyes just opened up. It was that bright. And they're like, we can't miss anything on the mill right now. Everyone's excited because there's there may be a leaking hose behind the mill that we probably missed for months and now they catch it right away. So National Grid, when we look at a facility of this size, we look short term as well as long term. Let's see what we can do now with energy efficiency and let's see what we can do in the future through st strategic energy. Hey, we looked at lighting, we've got that done. Now let's look at compressed air. Let's take a look in the future at possible uh, solar and some other energy efficiency with motors and then what else comes down the road. So it's basically a five-year game plan that we try to put together for the customer and help them to manage it. You know, the amount of money that we're going to save a year, we're estimating about $130,000 a year that we're saving directly on, uh, on our energy bill. And one of the greatest things about uh, our company, uh, or this company, with the money that we make, it gets pumped right back into the business. That's $130,000 a year that I can reinvest in capital or re reinvest in r and so it's going to be a direct benefit uh, to the, the plant, to the company, and to the area. Some of the employees who've been here 25, 30 years, they haven't seen the place this well lit. From a maintenance standpoint, identifying parts, finding issues that you may not otherwise see, uh, helps us prevent downtime. So there's a lot of big positives coming out of the project. We're investing into this plant. It's going to help retain jobs. We used a, a contractor that's from the community, and this is just where we're getting started. We still have other projects and plans for this plant. We're not done here. We're going to keep moving forward.